Now, why would we place that back there? Perhaps we're trying to, like, rebuild the scene here. Man, I don't know if I want to be going too far in here yet. Let's check the other side. Where we can go here. We did have the vision of the crankshaft. And I'm going to guess that it's probably... There's the bridge for reference. Yeah, it's probably right down here. Oh. Oh, there's the rest of his body. What? Blood from the legs. Blood from everywhere. The fractured skull. Probably the rock. The cause of death. Could be head trauma. Could have been run over by a train. Oh. Okay. There seems like there's probably more to uncover here. I'm almost wondering if we just have to kind of rebuild what happened. We put that rock in place and something kind of triggered. Now where is this crankshaft? Oh, there it is right there. It's got blood on it as well. still about the same size. I think it's trying to tell us something. Like it's, it wants us to do something. The other thing I noticed is that these ones, they're all kind of grayed out, but Railcar is... Okay. Yeah, so we've seen that. Yet it stays vibrant. I'm guessing that's kind of the next little piece here. If we attach this crankshaft, hopefully we can get this moving. Now, if we get this back into the same position that it was, I'm gonna have to hold it. Let's see, rail car, okay, we're right about here. Let's stop it. Oh, go. Probably back a little too far. I think that's its way of kind of communicating with us and just saying, like, I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's certainly something. So this is where... Well, this would make sense because this is where it would have started, with the rock in its place, the train over this dead grass, because that's why the grass is dead. Let's see if we have anything now. Oh, yeah. Oh! We got something. What is going on here? So that's what it took. We've rebuilt this scene. Oh. Oh, Jesus. He's got the crankshaft. Who is this guy? 
Can I talk to him? What are these things here? Oh. I wonder if that's Ethan. He might have found him, dragged him over there or something. For some reason. Here's the same guy. Does he have... Oh, he's got the rock. This is the guy that died. Let's see the rock here. Okay, so that's him grabbing the rock. He walks over to this guy. I assume this is where he strikes him. Or perhaps he strikes him here. But... What is he doing exactly? Let's see what these ropes were all about. What? Oh! He found this kid tied up. Chronology tag. Number one. Oh, we gotta put it in order. Okay, let's say he... finds this kid tied up. I don't know what this is. Maybe he's trying to... Avoid getting hit by the old guy? Hmm. Old guy picks up the rock. This is really interesting. Okay. So old guy picks up the rock. Walks over here. I'm not sure about the first one. Hits him. The boy sees him. Visualize. Listen to me. Nice. We can destroy it. I know how. Oh, what? You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Who's Travis? Kale, honey, I wish there was another way. Oh, that's our... that's the grandfather. Travis, tell me where Ethan is, now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. The sleeper? What all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go <gasps> home. So he stumbles down. Oh, then he's gonna run him over. No. Well, it's not quite how I pictured it, but. Ethan, run, goddamn it! Go, get out of here. Travis, close your eyes. Puts him out of his misery. Oh my God. Saying, give it what it wants, the sleeper? Okay. Wow, I so I wonder... Am I supposed to follow this thing? No, it's gone. Or is it? Hold on. Oh, it's not gone. Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. What room? I'm sorry. 
Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. No, no. Okay. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Now, who is Travis exactly? Is that a, like a, my brother? Could be. I don't know if his father. I don't know. I think we'd probably hear about that, but... got this giant forest to run through. What is that? Is that something? Well, that's something. What the hell is this? Okay. Oh. Okay, well... Awesome! What the heck? I guess we're gonna follow this thing. An astronaut. Interesting throwback. Not even a throwback. Interesting nod to themselves as developers. But really cool. Why an astronaut? Where is he taking us? Oh, what the hell? Do we just go in circles? Where is the spaceman taking us right now? He's trying to show us something. Uh, that's this is gonna be a good idea. There is a lot more going on here than I anticipated. Extraterrestrial containment capsule number couldn't catch it. Six nine one one. I don't know if that's going to be important. Like, I feel like with this, anything could be important. What is happening? Oh, I can move. Oh, Jesus. I can move around in here? Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue, that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Kind of like what we just did. 
kind of like what we just did. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Oh my... What? What did he scratch out in the middle there? It was still burning. As, yeah, no, nothing in there. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Fan okay, so... <laughs> I don't know how we ended up in a spaceship. Or a capsule. But here's the story, and then we're clearly just in the treehouse. Or a treehouse. Gaylord? Abtruse Tales, Gaylord. Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. And there's the capsule. I keep saying it, the capsule. The capsule. America's Finest Science Fiction, January 1964. Julian West, Clarence Carlyle, Michael Arden, and others. So, maybe, I'm thinking that Travis is probably a brother that's like, that picks on us and he, you know, reads our stories, makes fun of us, or we're probably a big nerd to him or something, because it looks like we're reading about space and that kind of stuff. Travis can fuck right off. Now, I wonder, what if we had stumbled upon this without finding that spaceman? I imagine that this is all Ethan trying to show us things from beyond the grave. Um, so far, we had the... Um, the grandfather. And then we had the brother. Okay, so this is just a, a I'm not gonna say rail station, but it's a waiting point. 410. Like every little detail, I don't know how important it is or if it's not, but Hey, and on this side, 420? Well these are maybe the times that it's coming and going. Could be. We do have a little bit of a path here, and I'm going to check between here and the other side just to make sure we're going in the same direction, and we are. A little bit of light peeks through there. I wonder. No. Oh, what do we have here? No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. You could say that. Mm -hmm. 
These little kind of mini, like, look like cave openings. I, I don't know why I keep thinking that maybe we can go into one, but... We could certainly go that way. trying to figure out as well if there's like if these cues if they mean anything to us like the way that the the ambience changes if they're trying to tell us something or I'm essentially going to follow the tracks to the end here, but we're going to go and check out this bridge also. Well, what is that place? This is like a dam. I think this is a dam. Train's getting through here. The way this is all, you know, covered up and destroyed is telling me that it's been like this for a long time. And that even that rail car, like, it's only operating between these two points. It's not operating. It's somebody used it to kill that guy, I think. Cross this thing, shall we? Oh. Oh, you tease. Well, okay. <laughs> so the <laughs> wow now I need to know so the uh, the developer they gave me a uh, preview build and I should be able to carry on right from that point uh, when the full game releases which is on the 25th of September uh, this is cool like this is really cool one thing I'm gonna have to kind of figure out is how how far like off the path do I go um if I do that often, will I get lost or uh, will I be led there at some point anyways? I'm not sure, but uh, this is really cool. And so far, we're kind of piecing together uh, something that happened to the guy in the tracks. We're not really sure. We're not sure how long he's been there. There's blood everywhere. We ran into a, an astronaut, right? <laughs> we ran into an astronaut and we ended up in some space capsule capsule where we were reading a story about the wolf and the fangs and the trees that closed in on it and then we ended up in the treehouse and we've had reference to our grandfather and I think our brother brother's name was uh, Travis who probably picks on us and I'm not sure why we disappeared but or why Ethan disappeared I should say but we're gonna figure it out yeah we are and this is, I'm, this is interesting. Like, I'm in. 
I'm very in. So we'll see you guys uh, next time where we'll be carrying on from right here. And uh, should be a great time. Thanks, guys. Bye.